Number one, first tip, emphasize key compound movements in the gym. Um, you can't overestimate the importance of simple uh, compound lifts to maintain your strength. As we know, with football, a lot of the injuries happen with, through contact. So if you can maintain a good level of strength over your career or if you're starting out, if you can build good strength early, uh, that's going to put you in good stead for preventing uh, those the chaotic nature of the game um, so you're able to keep your feet in the contests and protect your joints. So things like uh, squats, deadlifts, even your heavy pressing as well and your pulling movements, so like bench press and bench pull. So you're getting a strong press in to keep your shoulders uh, healthy um, and your, your ability to be able to push and uh, prevent being tackled as well as your pulling strength just to keep your upper back strong uh, and your shoulders strong. So, um, yeah, really important. Make sure you're doing those simple movements consistently. Tip number two, incorporate explosive movements. So number one would be making sure you sprint during uh, training at some point. So that might be your main training session on a regular basis. But not just uh, sprints, we want to, for um, max velocity exposure, you also want to work on your accelerations, which you're going to do far more than sprinting in a in typical game. So making sure you're getting regular exposure to high intensity accelerations, things like uh, your first three steps, so 10 meter axles, maybe a band around, a power band around your hips to work on really over if overemphasizing your first three steps uh, and that forward lean that we want um, for fast switching of the legs. So working on the acceleration, working on your change of direction technique, so efficiency in uh, your lateral movement, uh, and also in the gym doing some form of power training, whether you do it as a prime up the day before game day, or maybe in the middle of the week um, when you started transition from that recovery mode to more your performance mode, preparing for the upcoming game, doing an explosive 20 minute uh, session. Tip number three, maintain an aerobic conditioning stimulus. So if you're in season, Obviously, we want to reduce the amount of contact to your um, your, your running contacts. So we, we may use things like the bike, swimming, so off-feet conditioning where you're not use, using that ground contact forces to look after your joints uh, in season where you're doing those high match loads on the weekend. Uh, that's where we can use aerobic conditioning on, on the bikes and, and uh, like I mentioned, swimming or even just some total body circuit stuff where you're getting your heart rate up nice and high uh, and usually the rest periods are, are quite low. Um, so in pre-season is ultimately the time we want to build your aerobic base. Uh, and that's important for football because it's a long game. So the fitter you are, the better you're able to not only uh, handle the high, repeat high-intensity efforts, but also able to recover week after week um, from playing you know, over 10 k's of total distance, 1,000 meters of high-speed running, a couple hundred meters of sprint. Number four, probably something that, it gets talked about quite a bit, but um, you can't go wrong with making sure you're looking after your body health. So recovery and a nice, uh, simple way that you can approach this, especially in season, is for every minute that you're working out, you want to be working in. So simple example, if you've got a day's training where you're spending 45 minutes in the gym and then you've got a 60-minute on-field session, there's nearly two hours of work that we need to try and work in on that body so you might get a 30 minute deep tissue massage and then you might go for a, a 30 minute light recovery in the pool uh, and then do you know 30 minute stretch and foam roll for example um, so finding ways that you can not only focus on building up your resilience and, re and building robustness through training and hard training tip number five looking after your health so living an elite lifestyle the big three sleep stress and nutrition so making sure you're looking after those three on a daily basis there shouldn't be a single day where um, you're not um, prioritizing those three uh, we know the negative effects of poor night's sleep we know the negative effects of um, not being self-aware and um, recognizing life stresses and football stress and what that can have on the mind and of course your nutrition uh, the fuel you're putting into your body is going to uh, dictate how much energy you're going to have, how well you're going to recover and how well you're fueling for your upcoming training and game sessions. So those three are non-negotiables. Uh, yeah, you have to be focused on them. If you're not, you're going to be uh, negatively affected for sure. Research shows it. And even for those that have been following our advice for some time now, you would have recognized the importance of difference between a good night's sleep and not same with your, um, your mental health as well as your nutrition. So, And then the last tip, consult experts, particularly those 
um, that maybe you've had, you've come off a significant injury like an ACL, uh, how are you constantly, even when you're back to return to play, return to performance, what are you constantly doing to managing that asymmetry? Because there no doubt will be some. Um, so what are you doing in the gym? What are you doing in part of your warm up, your prep, uh, your whole preparation to make sure that you're mitigating the risk of further injuries? Um, and even if it's not a significant injury, it might just be a, a simple hamstring strain. Um, what are you doing to make sure you're restoring your range of motion? You, you, you're stronger than you've ever, ever been before the injury uh, and, you're, and you're at um, great condition. So expert, um, reach out to experts specifically to that injury or make sure you work with an AFL strength and injury coach to, so you've got a really strong understanding on what you need to do to not only not get injured again but also not open yourself up to future injuries. Uh, so that's really, really important. Have some experts in your corner uh, 